Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Now, today, um, obviously, as you guys can tell, we're at our new shop. Um, we got a little bit of a busy day. I think we got a customer coming in to do some wheels and tires. I think it's on a Ford truck. It's either a Ford or a Ram. Um, we also got a truck I got to go look at, so we're starting that off by today. Now, I actually got to pick up two vehicles today. One is actually, believe it or not, a BMW. Now, we're changing this thing up completely. This car is actually a piece of junk. But, uh, I think, uh, should I get it first? I told the guys I'm coming today, like both owners for, for vehicles. Yeah, you know what, we'll just swing over here. Or, uh, you know what, actually forget it. We'll just go to other one first because I mean I think it's like down this block here so we'll just go there afterwards oh please let me go please let me go thank god um but yes this like truck that we're going to look at is not in Iowa sadly it's in Wisconsin so yeah there's that Sadly, when we hit this bridge, the laws change. I think it's down that road. Actually, underneath this bridge here. I think the road is a little more that way, though. I'll just turn down here. Because I'm pretty sure it is down this road here. I'm also planning on getting like a gooseneck trailer. I do want to keep this trailer, but I do think I want to get a gooseneck trailer. Just because, I mean, why not? I plan on eventually getting another, actually two trailers, probably another two gooseneck trailers. Probably a 50 foot and maybe a 30 foot one. Just want a bigger one for when we do go to shows. Um, I do eventually want to build a show truck. I mean, probably our best show truck right now is the F-350 here. Uh, I think it's this road, if I'm not mistaken. I believe, I think that is it up ahead here, actually. Yes, it is. Not many. I think this is a 60, late 60s, early 70s suburban. Don't quote me on the years. I'm not too sure roughly, but I think that's the years. Now, this is a Chevy su suburban. The owner said it's completely mint condition. It has, I think, around 70,000 miles on it. It's not bad for its year. Actually, pretty good. Um, but yeah, we are going to go up inside here guy wants about like 23 grand for it i'm gonna try and work him down to 20 but i don't know we'll see what we can get but i'll talk to you guys back all right yeah thanks man yeah thanks again all right guys we have officially got a brand new well not brand new but it is a classic um chevy blazer so i kind of did a stupid thing i didn't test drive it so that was obviously a, a stupid uh, thing, but I did take the guy's word on it that it is pretty nice. I also noticed that the back door here, I think both sides, apparently not both sides, but this side is missing a handle. We might just leave it like that though. I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad without it. Jeez, that fire up was pretty good. We'll just take it for a quick little test drive as it is stock right now. That's honestly not too bad. I know we're obviously probably not going to go for a long, yeah, we're not going for a long test drive, but uh, um, honestly, I'm really glad that he didn't try and scam us on this. I mean, honestly, I can't say who would, but honestly, this is kind of a steal. I did actually, I wasn't able to get him down to 20, but I was able to get him like down to 21.5. So, 
so I mean it was better than 23 but for me anyways alright so we're gonna end up throwing this tilt deck down just make our way back to the shop now I wonder what that is across the street is that a farm or I don't think that's a farm it looks way too small to be a farm I don't know what do you guys think it is let me know in the comments I think we need to lower our trailer down as we're moving there I think we had it set for the Sierra which man I actually missed that truck now but uh, I think we had it set for the Sierra, and even then the Sierra was pretty tall, I don't know why it was leaning like that. This is kind of a stupid light, not gonna lie. But I'm going to he get headed back to the dealership, guys, and I'll catch you guys back when we're there. Alright, guys, so we're just making it back here to the dealership. I'm um, going to instantly take this thing right into the shop, just because, you know, we got to get the guys working on it. Honestly, other than the trailers, which I think I'm going to go look at one today, even if I don't buy one, I think I'm going to go look at one. Um... Then I also don't have to keep switching the Ford trucks off of them. You know, one can stay with it. But uh, I do also want to hire at least another two employees, I'm thinking. Maybe another two or three employees. Because I think we only have, like, Tim right now on our team. And we also have uh, another guy. So that's our only kind of guys on our side right now. Um... Yeah, we'll put this here. I was debating about putting it here on the long one, but first I should try and get on the ramp though. Okay, a little too far back. All right, now we'll just jack this thing up onto the lift. Alright, hopefully the guys get those two knocked out soon. Um, don't know if we're going to keep the color of the Suburban. I honestly don't mind it. We might change the roof color though. Um, honestly, the F-350 also needs some work. Got to change that up. We've got some ideas for that. Um, meanwhile, this thing right here, I want to go... Should I leave the trailer here or yeah you know what I'll just go pick up the car and then I'll probably end up looking at our trailers off camera but I also just want to quickly say to everyone uh, thanks for watching the YouTube videos that I'm putting out there I know I've been putting out a lot lately um, hopefully plan to do this um, lots of these are scheduled uh, oh great here's the train um, also learning to convert mods from FS19 to FS22. Hopefully soon I'll be able to like make the mods but for now I'm learning to convert them from FS19 to FS22 which is pretty cool honestly. I'm doing it actually with a mega cab. I'll just show you guys here the truck I'm currently doing. I'm doing now this truck isn't fully in game. I haven't got it fully done. I think I kind of messed it up a little bit. If it would load that would be nice but it's a 2007 Dodge Ram Mega Cab. I kind of copied the options off of another one. Actually, this one right here. I believe this is... I can't remember his name. Gear Wrench. They're right there, actually, in the modding. Both these trucks are his. Um, make sure to... I think they're public. I know they're, you guys can join his Discord. Um, really great guy. I'm not in his Discord currently, but I know that those are 
good trucks. Uh, he makes great mods. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what the truck's supposed to look like. And if it would load, it pretty much is just a red truck right now that's stock. So it won't load right now, but I'll show you guys probably eventually. So meanwhile, I think we gotta go down here for this BMW. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right, now when I say this thing's a piece of junk, I'll probably end up keeping the parts, like just giving them to a couple buddies, because I know a couple buddies that have BMWs. Now I don't know if it's this specific body, but the guy literally wants like, I think it was like 1500 for this car, literally. It's a nice looking car, and it's like stupid fast, but it's not worth saving. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside, try and make a deal with him, and just literally load it up onto the trailer. Guys, I got an idea for the frame, so I'll catch you. Alright guys, so we have officially got ourselves a BMW. Um, will this thing stay a BMW? Eh, not for long. Why does it sound so much like a diesel? Like a truck? Yet again, it's farming sim, so it's understandable. When I say this thing has a lot of power, if you guys look at the bottom right, you guys can actually see it goes like 220, so... Yeah, it goes kind of unrealistic fast. Also now realizing I kind of just parked in the middle of the road. Probably wasn't a good idea, but it was literally for like 10 minutes, if that. Alright. Now let's get this thing back to the dealership. Um, honestly, this thing is not going to be staying like this much longer. It's probably going to start getting t torn down today, hopefully. I don't know. Depends on what the guys get working on. They might get the blazer done first. But uh, long story short, I'll end up revealing them, all three of them at the same time for you guys. Um, I think we have a customer coming in, like I said, we have a customer coming in today, I think he's supposed to be here, I thought it was today, I don't know if it's today, it might be the next couple days, so, I don't know, I'll have to figure that out, so we'll just, yeah, I'll have to talk to, like, Susan in there and see what, uh, what's happening. just gonna put it actually on one of these I think. Doesn't really matter if it gets a little wrecked. Honestly like I said the only thing we're using is pretty much the frame. Which I know it seems like a waste of a car but just remember when it comes down to it it's a BMW it's not like it's a actual truck or car or anything. Clearly joking but yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Jeez, that goes high. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that because the guys will probably end up wanting to work like that. We'll end up tearing the body parts off of it. Um, this and this should be getting done soon. And I think the BMW is going to take ultimately longer. The F350 might take the shortest amount of time. But either way, we'll talk to you guys shortly. Alright guys, so now it's been about a couple days later, it's been about four days later. Guys have been hard at work on that BMW, the other trucks have literally just been sitting there, but uh, I mean that's alright because literally they're going to get worked on, I guess that didn't really help, they're going to get worked on right away here, um, but the BMW is done so I'm going to show you guys that today, um, well on this video, I mean they'll all get shown to you on this video, but right now. The BMW is what I'll show you it. Um, I'll just say this. It's not a BMW anymore. Um, as for this truck right here. Now this truck may look familiar. This may look like the one that we had at our other location. Now it is identical but uh, it's more stock right now. Now the guy actually 
just talking to me. He wants a complete setup. So this guy, well, not a complete setup, but he does want the cab lights up on top here. And I believe he said he wants the smoke out ones. Um, he also wants the headlights and taillights changed out. Um, he wants wheels and tires and the lift. And I think that is it. He may want some engine tuning. I can't remember. I got to call him up now. Um, this truck was dropped off four hours ago. I just told him to park it right here. So, uh, yeah, I'll end up talking to him or finding the paperwork on it. I don't think he wants the engine tuning, but I might try and throw in a deal package with the engine tune and, I don't know, maybe go cheaper on the custom headlights. I don't know. But, long story short, this is the truck now that uh, we're going to be decking out now. I kind of lied when I said this thing was stock now, obviously it has the gooseneck in the back, but when I say it is stock, it is a complete stock body, other than that uh, little compound uh, Cummins inside of the engine there, so yeah, that's um, always nice to have. Now, we actually had to move the BMW due to it was actually too big for the lift well, that it was on. As you guys can tell, it is gone now. I mean, the body is, obviously. But uh, the frame's still here. We'll end up throwing this onto the lift here in a sec. Um, but yeah, this is the BMW. As you can see, it's been all completely done up. Done up. New mirrors, roll cage, um, panels, visor, new hood. The frame is literally the only thing that's original. Um, custom built engine, transmission, the exhausts are custom, winch. So yeah, this is pretty much a BMW frame anyways. So yeah, it's, it's an off-road beast. So here's a ditch over here, we'll just go through that. I don't want to destroy it because this thing is going to be for sale and, you know, we got other things to do than destroy vehicles. So as you guys can tell, it is really good for going off-road. Oops, sorry car. Um, we'll just go up to one of the little ramps here, and I'll show you guys the flex this bad boy has. Probably my favorite off-road build I've ever done. So as you guys can tell that this thing is pretty good for its flex. Honestly really proud with how this thing turned out. We're just gonna throw it into the showroom here. We'll just put it there. I think we're only gonna have like three, maybe four vehicles in the showroom. If we have a bike maybe ever or an ATV we might just put it in there. But we're gonna get to work on that customer oh we're gonna get to work on that customer's build. Um hopefully get that knocked out and uh yeah. I think we'll get to work on those that F three fifty, which I like I said it shouldn't take too long and the suburban. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back in a second. Alright guys, so we are back here. It's been about three days later. Now we pulled about one all nighter and uh tell you it was pretty hard but uh we did take like a break a couple breaks throughout the night so a couple of guys almost fell asleep so yeah that was that um though meanwhile sadly we didn't get to the customer's truck i don't think that will honestly be till next episode or even next episode we might see it kind of changed don't know yet um as for these two, these two are done. Um, 
Now, I'm going to start with the Ford here. Honestly, we just we didn't go all out that we wanted to do. We were actually going to do the same rooms that we have on the other F-350. But we decided that might be a little boring, so we decided to go with some Liberty Forged rims. Um, honestly, pretty nice rims, as you guys can tell. I think the caps stay um, like just flat in real life. don't think they spin, but uh, I think in farming sim they do. I'm not sure. Um, we did paint the grill here. We left the bumper. Um, we painted the mirrors. I had the chrome, so we left that. I think it was chrome before. I can't remember, but it was. We did paint the mirrors white. Um, we took out the two-tone. We honestly didn't mind it, but what, what we were going to do with the back bumper wouldn't have looked good. Um, made the back bumper chrome and white. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much what we did the, for this. As you guys can tell, pretty nice truck. Honestly, this is probably a show truck, I'd say. As you guys can tell, there is a ditch on the back. We also have an any an any level on this truck now. Honestly, I don't know why you'd put an any. Well, I mean, that's not that I don't know why you wouldn't, but I'm kind of surprised that they have that for the 2023s. Um, already so yeah we do have an any level on this thing that is one thing actually that we do not have on the other truck yet so and i said yet because we might have to do that um but yes this truck is straight literally going straight up here um probably going to be a show truck actually you know what i'm going to take this thing to the dealership here because i have an idea for what i want to do with the back end so i'm gonna head to the dealership and i'll catch you guys back in a sec all right guys so on the on my way over here i actually had to order this thing already bought already done up um now here we are at tractor supply co i guess it wasn't the dealership but tractor supply co um and yeah so we got this american flag and i i think we know what this is Gonna be four. Just go like that. Connect it up. All right, there we go. That's what I call awesome. This will be even better now. Whenever someone drives past and they'll see this truck with the American flag on the back of it. And you know what? I'll sell the truck with the American. Well, I don't know if I will. I might buy another two just to keep around the dealership. But honestly, this is pretty awesome. Let me know if I should get one of these for the shop trucks. I mean, it might be kind of hard though for hauling a gooseneck. Okay, we'll just put this truck up here. I think what I'm going to do is, there, honestly, that will, that will look good when you're driving by, you're just going by, like, that is a clean truck, alright, now for the Suburban, now we, obviously, as you guys know, we picked this thing up earlier today, um, And it has changed quite a bit now we blacked out obviously all this is wrapped so if you did want to take this out or take it back to the original color you still can so the chrome is still underneath um, wrap the grill and the body of the truck or the suburban sorry um, to the same we left the headlights trim pieces and mirrors chrome um, we wanted to go with some XD rims um, with the bead locks, of course, new license plates, and, uh, yeah, and this thing has, like, a tune under the hood, so, we couldn't find another handle, too, for some odd reason, so we just said, forget it, but we also did, like, a six-inch lift on this thing, so, probably one of my favorites, I'm just gonna close this. As you guys can tell, it sounds way different than it did before. Um, that is because also it has a tune on it, so it does get up to speed way quicker. 
I'll just take it down the road here. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. So as you guys can see, we're going quick. I think the max speed, yeah, 130. So about 20 more kilometers per hour than we did before. Honestly, not too bad. I think we'll end up putting this thing outside as well next to the, um, I guess we can't put it next to the Ford truck there, but, yeah, let me know if I should put the American flag on the back of this. I don't know, I feel like if we do it on too many trucks, it might be like, eh. I feel like it looks good on that Ford, though. Oh, by the way, also, we also did get this new, uh, 50-foot gooseneck. We've got to find a place for it, but that we did get um we got it about a day ago so honestly it was a good purchase it was on sale too so we ended up i think saving like a thousand dollars on it there was a 20 foot one but i think it was a little too short for right now at that point i might as well use the tilt deck and when it comes down to it it was a little beaten up like it was used so i think we'll just put this thing Sure, we'll leave this one flat. Alright, and there we go. There's second Chevy of the dealership. So, yeah. Oh, did these guys get that truck up on the lift? Oh, wait. No way. Okay, well, that was quick. So, apparently, while we were out, they actually the guys got this truck knocked out um they do move pretty quick uh they got the new fox suspension up in there um and the new bfg goodrich tires and rims on here so i know the rims clearly aren't bfg goodrich but uh wow so they are 37s pretty nice pretty nice um i think that's all we're doing to the truck i think we talked to the guy two days ago and he said he wasn't really into custom headlights anymore so he just wanted like a truck that he could be tall in i guess i don't know anyways guys um hopefully you enjoyed this video um if you did make sure to hit that like button as always um obviously more of this series will be coming uh honestly i cannot get over the fact how good this thing looks probably one of my favorite trucks I ever built but, yeah, anyways, guys, we'll talk to you guys later, and peace.